Hey guys, I'm out here on the lake, and uh, I just wanted to show y'all something real quick. As yeah, something I, I learned in a, a little Bassmaster like tips and tricks book, I think it was like 2010. But basically, it's called the bungee jumper rig, and uh, I'm using this, I'm rigging this one up on a little bit heavier tackle. So I got. Uh, just a bait caster with a 17 pound fluoro and a 3 alt uh, extra heavy wide gap trapper tackle hook. I'm just going to take a zoom trick worm and instead of rigging it from the head, you want to take it about here. Just kind of feed your worm through it about like that. Come around. I like to pull the plastic up over the knot, just like that. And you just measure it like you would any other time. Put your hook in there and then just kind of bury the hook point. Now, uh, Chad Hayes from Bite Me Baits. He made me a bunch of these weights. Um, they're like a little Nico uh, Nico weight. They got a screw lock on them. But you take that and you can <coughs> bite you off a piece. Screw it into the head of that worm. Just like that. Now a long time ago when I first heard about this, I was using like little crappie jigs. I just cut the line tie, cut the hook off and shove it in the end. But uh, it's called the bungee jumper rig. It's real good during the spawn when uh, a lot of times they want to bite it, you know, towards the tail. They're just picking it up, moving it off their bed or whatever. They'll bite the tail end of that worm and you can hook them a lot better like this now this is also good for grass if you're just pitching in holes in grass or whatever it don't get hung up like a like a shaky head it don't get the the line tied and the grass all up in it but uh it's probably best around the spawn i'd say and i mean you can even pitch this thing into brush piles and kind of shake it and pull it out uh, I probably my favorite way to throw it is on a lot smaller hook like a one all light wire hook with a smaller worm like a finesse worm and uh and light line on a spinning rod and you just pitch it around beds during the spawn and and they'll usually bite it pretty good but uh y'all check out bite me baits of kentucky he makes them in all different sizes painted unpainted uh I got some so these these are kind of a prototype deal but uh something we're kind of experimenting with and obviously you want to match it with a like a shad colored little worm but it's the same type of deal it's got the screw lock but it's just got some some eyes in it this gives the fish something different to look at obviously you want them focused uh, on that tail because you want them to bite it on that end but it's just something a little different we were playing with but uh yeah check out bite me baits and uh that's your bungee jumper rig.